Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to do a series in astronomy where we talk about how we discover how far things are, how big things are, how bright things are, and what we discover when we try to do that, and what people have discovered for thousands of years, the biggest challenge in astronomy always has been to figure out how far things were. And let me show you why that is such a big deal. For example, let's say there's two different stars, one that is a really big star, but it's far away, the other one that's a much smaller star, but it's much closer to us. The way we judge sizes in astronomy is by figuring out how much of an angle the object subtends. So when we look at it, we draw a line from our eyes to the left side of the object, we draw a line from our eyes to the right side of the object, and so the two lines form an angle between them. If the angle between them is big, then we're looking at something that appears very big to us. If the angle between them is very small, then we look at an object that appears very small to us. But we won't know actually if the object is really big or if the object is really small because we don't know how far away the object is. In this case, notice that this object, even though it's much bigger, has the same angle, it subtends, as we say, the same angle as the smaller object that's much closer. So to us, the two objects will look exactly the same size, and so we're going to assume that they're the same size and maybe even assume they're the same distance. We really don't know whether or not one is farther away than the other. Maybe this was a really big star really far away, so it looks small, we just don't know. And so that was always the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is how far is everything that we look at in the universe. Here's another example. Let's say that we have a really bright star. Usually stars are bright in part because they're very large, but also in part because they're very hot. And we'll see that in a later video. Here's a much smaller star, and so the brightness ascribed to a star is considered what we call the absolute magnitude. So this is indeed a very bright star. It has a very large absolute magnitude. This is a smaller star. It has a much smaller absolute magnitude. But what we see from the Earth when we observe stars in, in the universe, we see what we call their apparent magnitude, how bright they appear to us. So in this case, both stars will appear to have the same uh, what we call apparent magnitude. They will look the same brightness, even though this one is much brighter than the other, simply because this one is much farther away than this one. So they appear the same brightness, and, but they don't have the same brightness. And the question again is, how do we figure out which one is the bright star and which one is the dimmer star? Which one is the bigger star? Which one is the smaller star? And it really comes down to it, is if we can just know how far the stars were. If we knew how far they were, then it would be really easy to figure out, oh, they look the same brightness, but this one is much farther away, so therefore it must be a lot brighter. Or, oh, I know how far they are, this is much farther away, but since it has the same angle, it must therefore be much larger. So it always came down to knowing how far things were in the universe. And so that was the big quest. And what we're going to do in the next so many videos is look and see how people used very clever methods to figure out how far things were, which were then they were able to figure out how big things were, how bright things were, and so forth. A lot more could be known about everything in the universe if we just could figure out how far things were. And you'll see over thousands of years how people struggled and strove to find out how far things were. And they came up with some really clever methods. And you'll be interested to see what those, some of those methods are. So if you're interested, stay tuned and look at the next so many videos. See you then.